Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. Suppose brown eye allele or capital B is dominant over the blue eye allele or small b. If brown eyed parents produce a child with blue eyes, what is the probability that at least one out of the next two children they produce has blue eyes? According to our problem, two parents with brown eyes produce a child with blue eyes that give us information that both parents have to be heterozygous. So one parent have to be capital B and small b and another parent also have to be capital B and small b. Only if both parents are going to be heterozygous then they can produce a child who is going to be with blue eyes. Take a look capital B, capital B here, capital B, small b here, capital B, small b here, and small b, small b here. So this child who has two recessive alleles would have blue eyes and the rest I cannot use brown color on the black background so I would use this color. So uh, three quarters would have brown eyes just like parents. So three quarters of the progeny are going to have brown eyes and one quarter are going to have blue eyes. And again, let's say this is male parent and this is female parent. Now, according to our problem, these parents are going to have two more children. So what possible combinations this couple may have? they may have two children that is going to have brown eyes. They also may have a combination of one child with brown eyes and one with blue eyes. And the last combination is they would have two children with blue eyes. So this is three possible outcomes how this couple may have two children. In the category two children with brown eyes, we have only one combination that first child would have brown eyes and the second child also would have brown eyes. But in the category one child with brown eyes and one with blue eyes, we are going to have two such combinations. First combination would be when first child would have brown eyes and second child would have blue eyes. And another combination would be when second, uh, sorry, first child would have blue eyes and the second would have brown eyes. And as for the third category, two children with blue eyes, we also have only one such combination that the first child would have blue eyes and the second child would have blue eyes. At this moment, some of the students may got into trap thinking that they got a solution and say that at least one out of the next two children would have blue eyes. That means that children have to be in this category. So three out of four would be an answer. Three quarters would be probability, but this is not so. Take a look. Probability that couple would have first child with brown eyes according to our Punnett square is three quarters. So let's put this number on top, three quarters. Probability that the second child also going to have brown eyes also going to be three quarters. So let's multiply these two probabilities and we are going to get nine over 16. And for example, here probabilities would be as follows. So three quarters would be probability that the first child would have brown eyes and probability that the second child would have blue eyes is going to be one quarter. So three out of 16. And here we also have one quarter that the first child would have blue eyes and three quarters probability that the second child would have brown eyes. And if we multiply this two probabilities, we are going to have three sixteenths. And probability that the first child would have 
blue eyes would be one quarter and probability that the second child would have blue eyes would be also one quarter and probability for this couple to have two children with blue eyes is going to be one sixteenth. Now let's read the question again. What is the probability that at least one out of next two children they produce has blue eyes? At least means at least one or it can be two. So let's circle these two categories. So if children would belong to any of this combination, this meet requirements of our problem. So basically we only can exclude one variant when both children would have brown eyes. All the rest combinations would include at least one child with blue eyes. So the answer is going to be three sixteenths, three sixteenths plus three sixteenths plus one sixteenths. And the answer is going to be seven sixteenths. And this is going to be our answer to our problem. The other way how we can find the answer, basically we can find that only one category which doesn't uh, meet requirements of our problem would be when couple would have two children in a row with brown eyes. And probability would be three quarters multiplied by three quarters is going to be nine sixteenths. So the rest, which is going to be seven sixteenths, would meet requirements of our problem. So two ways how to solve this problem. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.